Richard, I love it. Welcome to the laboratory. What are we talking about today? Frozen pipes. Ugh, disasters. Now, we live in a cold climate, so we tend to build for it. We protect against it. But there are places in this country where there's a sudden cold snap, and all of a sudden water's coming out of every place it shouldn't. No matter where it happens, it's always a huge mess. Right. So we got this little mock-up uh, uh, demonstrator here. Here's the copper water pipe. And we're going to try to freeze this pipe. And when water freezes, it expands by about 9% when it changes its state from right. water to ice. Yep. But that's not enough to make most pipes burst. Wait, the ice isn't? No, it's the pressure that that expansion of water has caused downstream. So if this grows by 9%, it's now going to compress this little bit of water that's in here mm -hmm. and can build up that pressure inside here as high as 25 thousand PSI. What? Absolutely. It's the pressure that's going to make the thing go crazy, not the, just the 9% growth. Holy smokes. So what we got here, I'm going to insulate right here. Here's a pressure gauge. This represents the cold water supply to the house or to yep. a bathroom group or to a kitchen. And we're at, uh, it looks like 60 PSI right. or so, which right. is normal, right. right? Yeah, 40 to 40 to 60 pounds pressure is typical. Okay. So now we're going to use compressed air. Oh, yep, it's going up. Wow, it's going up fast. Look at that. That's just in a couple of seconds right there. Bam. So look, it's, it's keep, three, it, three, 10 seconds. It goes into right it. beyond the, the range of the gauge. And this is potentially before we even have a full right, ice block. Right. So I have a, a recollection of when I was a young apprentice, we got sent to a house that the neighbor had come, saw that ice was coming down the front steps. So I go to the front door and I get out an ice pick and I start chipping away at the front door to try and get into the house because so much water's come out. And I hear a boom inside. Yep. Now I finally get the door open, come in, and I look, and at the far end of the sunroom was a radiator like this. No way. And this is 25 feet away. I walk in the front door and I see a shard of that radiator stuck into the side of the stair hall going up here. If so I had been um, two minutes earlier, I, it would it would have been a different show. Three generations of plumbers, <laughs> not four. But so it blew really, up a cast iron radiator. Absolutely, absolutely. So it really made me understand the power of this 25,000 psi oh, expansion. Oh yeah, rate. absolutely. Okay. I mean, a little copper pipe has is absolutely no, is no, no match. match for it. Right. So, so now, to, I need people to really visually understand what happens though when this thing freezes in this little pipe and we have full city water pressure. So we've got um, a split here caused either by the block of ice or more likely the pressure caused right, right there. That's right. The blockage goes away because yep. the ice melts or yep. something. Yep. So I thought I would do a little demonstration. Imagine you are there when it finally bursts. You're going to open this? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, all so, right. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. This is 60 pounds of pressure. Oh. <laughs> okay? That would fill your house. I'm gonna, let me shut this up. And that's the first rule. Right. you got to actually find a place to be able to have the shutoff. So this is one right here, but in a panic, when you got water coming, you need to find a control point. So somewhere in the building, there's the main water shutoff. It might look like this, or it looks like this. This one you turn clockwise, and this one you turn to this position. What we always love to do for any house is to put a main water shutoff tank, because in a panic, you've got to be able to find the right control valve. Sure. Once yep. you get it shut off, then you call a plumber and you get it repaired. But the other question is, is how do you prevent it? So, you know, they make all kinds of pipe insulations like this. Generally, it's split, so you can open it up and put it on after the fact and insulate those pipes. But many times, those pipes are out in places you can't get at them. You know, think about a kitchen cabinet. Often the sink is right at the window, the hot and cold are right behind it. So one little tip is to open up the kitchen cabinets and attempt to get a little bit of heat in there to keep mm -hmm. it from freezing. Right. Now, the other thing you can do is to actually relieve the pressure so that that, that exp extraordinary pressure won't build up. 25,000 PSI. Correct. So using our demo again right here, so you got this pressure gauge, and let's simulate that this is actually a kitchen faucet or a, okay. a faucet. So what are you going to do? You're going to bring the pressure back up bring it back up. it again? Yeah. Okay. So here's our... Freeze again. Just crack that faucet. So coming up to Go 80. Go ahead, crack it. Yep. I'm cracking it. I'm cracking it. All right. So just that little release would be enough. You know, so wow. the rule is if you're in cold, cold night and you think it might freeze, find the farthest faucet away, hot and cold. Just let them drip a little bit into the sink for Got the night. Great information, Richard. And I love the demonstration. <laughs> Tells the whole story. Nice job, Professor. All right. oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button.
make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.